Here's the triple VCA from RYO, which is a great 4HP triple VCA module that works great for audio and CV at its input. And it's also got some clever normal in features, which is what I'll focus on in the video. Here's an oscillator wave going into the unit and the VCA's output's going straight into my sound card. The CV input is a simple envelope triggered by a clock. We've got three separate VCA's but with no inputs present, the output of the previous VCA is normal to the input of the next, so we can listen to this same sound right across all three of the VCA's. If I take my output from VCA 2, there's nothing happening when you plug CV into 2, because the first VCA isn't actually passing any sound through but taking the CV into VCA1, that now has an output which is passed on to the second VCA. And the cool thing with the normal in across the three VCAs is that the response gets increasingly exponential, so listen to the envelope shape of the sound. It's a bit tighter here, and a much sharper, faster volume curve on the third VCA. Changing the CV input to a sine wave LFO instead of an envelope, here's the difference. Let's take that to a ramp wave LFO instead of a sine. Slightly sharper exponential rise. So that's it for the general features and you can use these completely independently as well. A great use of the Normalin on the VCA is to mix CV signals from a keyboard or a sequencer using velocity and envelopes. With the Normalin on the sound we can use the second VCA's output for a tighter envelope response but we can also then add the velocity input. So this gives us a more dynamic pattern with just the one sequence playing with the first VCA being opened by the envelope and then the velocity moving the level of the second VCA's output. Without velocity this would just be static and all at one level from the envelope triggering the first VCA. Here I look at using the triple VCA module and it's normal and again, this time for mixing CV signals. The top VCA is opened with a saw wave LFO from the Batumi and we're listening to the first VCA's output sending FM modulation to a VCO. With the normalising we can get increasingly exponential response from the second and third VCA outputs. Coming out of the second VCA, I'm then going to use a different sine wave LFO at that CV input to modulate the sound even further. So the output of the first VCA is coming into the second, and then the second VCA's CV input controls the level of that second VCA to further modulate the output of that first VCA. The third output will get a more exponential response based on that second VCA's output. So we're mixing three different LFOs now across the three different VCA's to further modulate the signal one after the other across this normally. Adding in some cross modulation from each LFO and the Batumi we get some more dynamic and moving patches as well. I have an offset at the input of the first VCA and I'm going to use an envelope into the CV input. And I'm going to use those two signals to create new envelope shapes from the VCA. So here's turning up the offset at the input. And I'll just slow down the triggering of that envelope going into the CV control of the VCA. 
Taking the different outputs, we can hear this response get sharper and more exponential. As I did in the previous part of the video, adding velocity works really well, but adding some random sources such as sample and holds or even a sequence is great for further modulating your sounds. And using a sequence here, I'm going to get some nicely varied envelope depths. So here's the sequences output going to the second VCA's CV input, which is taking its input from the first VCA as the output's normal to the input of the next, and we can get different envelope depths set by the levels on the steps on the sequencer. Don't forget you can just use this as three standard VCAs with three separate inputs and three separate CV controls, sending different sounds out of your system. Although I've focused on the normal in and potentially more creative use with this unit as I think that's what makes this particular module a bit more unique. As always, hit like and subscribe for more videos every week and check the Patreon link below if you want to support my channel.